is an article about one of the dumbest little guys on the internet, and that is Nick Fuentes, who was doxxed all week after saying, uh, your body, my choice to women. He is uh, reaping and sowing, as they say. Uh, the name of the woman who uh, knocked on his door, just someone from his neighborhood knocked on his door, and he came outside and, like, pepper sprayed her? Marla Rose, woman who doxed Nick Fuentes, presses assault charges. Feminist Marla Rose presses assault charges. Uh, Marla Rose, a Jewish feminist activist, has sparked debate following an alleged altercation with far-right commentator Nick Fuentes at his Illinois residence in Illinois, which is funny. Uh, over the week, uh, weekend, Rose reportedly approached Fuentes' home, rang the doorbell, and was allegedly met with pepper spray and a physical confrontation. He literally opens the door and, and just does it. She claims Fuentes pepper sprayed her, kicked her down a flight of stairs, and took her phone, which was later returned by the police. Emergency services, including the police and, the am and an ambulance, arrived following the incident. Okay, that page doesn't exist. It was deleted. In a Facebook post, Rose elaborated in her motivations, citing Fuentes' controversial reputation. What would you do if a neo-Nazi white supremacist who called a holy war against Jews and his loud, proud misogynist lives in your town, she wrote. Encouraged by a friend, Rose explained. So I rang the doorbell. He immediately swung the door open like he was at damn Waco, sprayed me with a burning liquid, and pushed me down the stairs onto his sidewalk. Thread on while Rose's story free. Wow. So this is the whole story here. We don't have to read this whole thing necessarily, but there's a picture of him spraying the fucking maze. <laughs> he picked a fight with an old lady, dude. Why? Uh, so Rose noted that the passerby called the police, after which. Uh, a passerby called police after which the EMTs checked her for injuries the nice EMTs took my vitals in the ambulance she added sharing I am a little sore on my right side where I fell but I'm fine she also described the police response as dismissive allegedly asking for what I said dumbfounded for assault and he was like well you went to his door you went to his door I don't think you just I don't think <laughs> I don't think you can get assaulted for going to a door he's naturally scared of women yeah Word on the street is he shit himself in high school and has been embarrassed and his uh, mom and sister don't like him. Uh, public relations have been polarized. While some supporters see Rose's actions as justified given Fuentes' past incitement on social media, critics argue that her approach and alleged doctrine crosses legal and ethical boundaries. Some have called for legal repercussions against Rose. Fuentes has not commented on the incident. In closing, Rose added a jab at Fuentes, adding, P.S. Fuentes is a very frightened widow man. Don't ring the doorbell. He is a little on edge. Go figure. It is my opinion that people like Nick Fuentes deserve to walk in fear uh, for the way that they treat people. And so anything that happens to him, he's bringing the negative attention to himself by being an antisocial freak, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't care what happens to him either. I don't give a shit. Um, I think it's funny, in fact, when bad things happen to bad people. He lived in his grandma's house in his mom's basement. He moved back to his mom's basement after he got doxxed. This isn't a joke. He's quite literally a basement guy. Chad, I have breaking news. Do -do 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 breaking news. Uh, you guys know how like Nick Fuentes, uh, Nazi, got uh, doxxed over the weekend, and uh, people were going to his house in fucking like Berwyn, Illinois, or whatever. Uh, he he got so so doxxed uh, that he ran away to his mom's house. And now people, this lady lived it, like in his community, um, and now he's just getting dumpstered by like his actual community, like the people that grew up with him. And so here's a video. This is called Nick Fuentes poops his pants. Believe it or not, I work with Melissa Fuentes. That's Nick Fuentes's mother, the <laughs> your body my choice kid. The <laughs> your body my choice kid, dude. The whole fucking family is getting getting just thrown under the bus because this kid sucks so bad. This is beautiful. For six years at LaGrange Park, Illinois, and man, do I got to get some things off my chest. It's interesting. Do you hear how she's speaking? Lauren still works at the place, so I won't drop where we worked at, but... Cool. Uh, I'm just going to cue this up. Oh. I do know that Nick has a twin sister named Melissa, and she is Lauren's pride and joy. Oh, he, oh fuck. He has mommy issues. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
This guy <laughs> is unfucking believable. <laughs> so he's definitely got some issues. Well, I wonder why he's so misogynistic. Hmm. Do you think therapy could help? Okay, here's my when when this all falls apart because the Trump administration is trash and uh, you know people like Nick Fuentes what you know are going to be running the country for a little bit. It's all going to fall apart. They're going to deregulate a lot of stuff. Uh, the a lot of the bureaucracy that we've had in the past is going to sort of like be dissolved by a lot of the actions of ineptitude. But I kind of think that that means that might, there might be an opportunity to, upon the bones of America that's left over from this, to build something good. And I propose some simple changes to our society. Healthcare access, mental health care access, and, and like, for everybody. And, like, especially kids, especially teenagers, we should have mental health advocates, not only, like, part of a class. Like, we should be teaching people how to experience like navigate life better it, we i'm not just worried about making them little workers i'm worried about making them p good citizens and people way more than i'm worried about making them good workers and that is like the opposite approach that we've ever had right so anyway this is something that i would do uh oh he's beyond saving oh not for nick fuentes but for kids that are going to turn into nick later on in their lives i don't know uh, nick is i mean fuck that guy she is the twin of Nick, believe it or not, and the one that came out well. <laughs> Melissa and Nick. The one that came out well. <laughs> like they were, it was like a Roman allegory. Fucking twins in the womb and one of them's evil. And Nick, and he's a twisted little long-fingered slender man. And his uh, sister is just a normal person. <laughs> Both went to Lyons Township High School and Melissa flourished where Nick did not. In fact, he was called many times into the office where Lauren had to leave work and I had to cover Lauren because of Nick's shenanigans. That's fucking hilarious. His mom's ex co worker out here just being like, look, fuck, fuck this guy in particular. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But I really think the hatred from women started with his mother and his sister because uh, he wasn't included. He was not a good kid. He was called into the office constantly. Dude, listen to how she speaks. This is real. You can hear it. If you ever heard Nick Fuentes speak, that how she said const constantly right there. Oh, my God. That is such – you could tell they're from the same area. This is real. Uh, he wasn't included. He was not a good kid. He was called into the office constantly. Yeah, man. This is too real. <laughs> uh, shit his pants even at school. It was almost like he, he shit his pants at school. <laughs> Dude, this kid's been getting bullied his whole fucking life. And then he got on the internet and he's starting to bully people as recompense. And it's going to ruin his life. It's going to ruin his fucking life. He did it purposely. So Lauren had to leave. He did it purposely? He threw a tantrum and shit his poopy pants on purpose? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna shit my pants. That'll show you. <laughs> That's some fucking... That is, that is some obstinance right there. Shit his pants even a good kid. He was called into the office constantly. Uh, shit his pants even at school. It was almost like he did it purposely. <laughs> so Lauren had to leave work Amazing. and go get her son. And it was rough. It was very rough. I felt bad for Lauren at the time. Um, but now that I think about it, she needed to get that kid help then. Because it was clear that he was struggling with some mental issues back then. <laughs> yeah, no shit, man. Well, fucking Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not surprised that this is what happens to these dumb fuckers. We are, this is, this is how the, the situation is right now. We are a country run by rich people with bad personalities who have hired people with, I wouldn't say good personalities, but definitely attention grabbing personalities in media uh, up and down to sell their propaganda so that the dweebs that you bullied in high school can be your your fucking overlord because people like Nick Fuentes just have a bone to pick with society because they're shitty people and we don't have any lifelines for them. This is basically the Batman. <laughs> this, they're, they're just Paul Dano in the Batman. 
Ah, uh, society has let me down. So I'm gonna be a shitster. Forever. The shit man. His audience is now calling him a fake cell because they found out that he was sadly kissed on the cheek by a girl way back in the day. My condolences for the girl. Oh, he got a kiss on the cheek once? After Lauren's mother, so that's Nick Fuentes' grandmother died, Lauren decided to make Nick go live in Berwyn into that house. Um, that's <laughs> like literally we're like, go live in your dead grandma's house and get away from me. And then he started on YouTube. And then Rumble. Uh, there is a reading for filth, and then there's whatever the fuck this is. This is reading for shit. Yeah. Reading for shit. It's the one that got doxxed and the one that got leaked. But right now he is in LaGrange with his mother in the basement again. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> in the basement again. So fucking good. If we were a serious country with, with like, real... First off, if we were a serious country, we'd have laws against misinformation although i don't think i don't think uh nick fuentes would be fixed by this um because he's just doing youtube channels but like politicians and stuff shouldn't be able to misinform people as far as <laughs> jesus fucking christ if i don't know how to say this if we had a real if the left was half as violent as they say we are nick fuentes wouldn't be around to say this kind of shit let's be real like, all the fucking fear-mongering and all the Antifa super soldier shit, it amounts to very little when dudes like this... Like, the the most harassment this guy has faced has been a doorbell ring. We'll watch that in a second. He pepper sprays the lady. Uh, which she is not happy about at all. <laughs> anyway, I think this story, if your teen son is not starting to act right is getting called into the office i think we should do more therapy i True. think we should prevent ourselves from becoming lauren fuentes and making a son like nick fuentes <laughs> making a son like nick fuentes <laughs> because honestly it was an epic fail on her part and i wish i helped her more in realizing that he need help so lauren if you hear me um please get him some <laughs> get him some help i assume <laughs> fuck so he pooped his pants in high school and his mommy had to come pick him up, which doesn't surprise me. God damn it. Anyway, so he got doxxed on the internet because he said, your body, my choice. And then he came out with pepper spray. After she showed up to his house in Illinois. Hi. Oh, my God. What, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. locking the door frantically from the old lady <laughs> jesus christ the incident <laughs> anyway there's his fucking tweet uh he deserves to be uh, harassed by his peers in his community f for his bad behavior i think like I, I think i think you know when you when you uh, shit stir in your community, people will be like, "Hey, that's antisocial behavior, bud." You know, and that's what he's getting. I don't I don't blame them whatsoever. I don't blame them at all. All she said was, "Hi." She could have been anyone. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she was out there being loud beforehand. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't think I don't think you should be comfortable in your community when you say the shit Nick Fuentes says. You know what I mean? Like I I don't think I don't think you should be able to like say that shit. And feel as though you are not fearful for your well-being in in your community. Like there is there is a certain threshold of tolerance that I think everybody should have for for someone's buffoonery or whatever. And he crosses the line regularly. It's clear he's a piece of shit. He's actually scared of women. This is exactly it. He's he's scared of women. Many incels are. I would love to speak to them, but they, you know, you know how they are. Every time I talk to them, the last one I talked to was a far right, like Christian nationalist Nazi kid who was gay, but was refusing to accept that he was gay. And when I said, it's okay to be gay, he screamed racial slurs. So I would be forced to kick him off the call. And then he blocked me on Twitter when I was like, Hey man, it's okay. Sarah didn't even upload that one because he was so unhinged. 
Yeah, they can't handle someone as cool. Well, I mean, it should just be. I mean, but it's not that though. It's not. I mean, it's just that they can't handle the idea that like it's on them to change. It's really what it comes down to. Every single time you talk to an incel, they'll be like full on Republican or whatever, far right nationalist, very individualist. Uh, you know, we shouldn't collectivize and make people's lives better. And then they'll accuse us of saying like. Oh, you're just going to tell me some bootstrap shit about my personality and how I got to do the work to make sure that girls like me or whatever. And it's like, but yeah, you do though. You are the only person that can live pilot your fucking meat megazord that you are. You're it. You're the one person inside your brain. So we can't do it for you. If I could make you behave fucking normal, I would. I would just go and you'd be a normal guy and you'd have a good normal life. The work is 90% just not being a dick. Really, the work... Yeah, I mean, the work is understanding that most of what you're doing with your with your incel shit or your far-right shit is you're being obstinate and defiant uh, and, like, you're just being an asshole and you're trying to cut people off at the pass so that you don't have to be vulnerable towards them. Like, a lot of it amounts to that. There, I mean, you know, there's mommy issues and misogyny and all sorts of fucking, like, other bullshit wrapped up into it. But, like, at the core of it, it's a lack of confidence, and so they lash out. Yeah, it's it's insecurity. But it's, like, really hard to tell somebody that and have them listen to you without doing full fucking therapy voice with them. I, I really genuinely think trying to get even one of these fucking far-right pundit boys to come around would be uh, quite good for us, uh, politically speaking. Uh, but they all get banned because they're all fucking sick in the head, man. Anyway, uh, if you are if you are an incel, I want to talk to you. I would love to have a conversation with uh, any groiper that can keep their fucking slurs to themselves so we can actually speak because uh, t- Twitch and YouTube don't let me do it. So Just be normal, man. Although that's the problem, isn't it?